Okay, we are live. Hello, viewers. Silent Service here, back with a another stream slash video, depending on when you're watching this. I'm going to blitz through the channel admin to begin with. First off, yes, I am fully aware of the black screen that was the entirety of the previous um, live stream that was Silent Hunter 4. I had... Noticed that, got rid of the video, and found out the reason why. Because my OBS, which I uh, you won't be able to see at all, but I got up, I'm not getting up, but I know how to explain the incident. My OBS has um, got the game capturing stuff and everything, but I only set it to capture specific games like um, Stormworks or... War Thunder, and it's not set to capture, like Silent Hunter 4, and I went in and did it so that it captures um, Naval Arts, I haven't played Silent Hunter 4 since that video, which, um, what you actually see on screen right now for Naval Art, if you're wondering, is, um, one of the vessels I'm proud of that I've designed here. The HFS, stand for Hayden Fraser ship, James Hetfield. Yes, I've named an entire class after Metallica. I've, I've got th three ships of the class done, two of which are only, um, two of which are up in the workshop. And just saying for the date stuff in the universe that I've set these things to be built in these things were um already like Metallica had already gone f like Metallica would still have been their first iteration and everything but for some reason the future members of Metallica were already known about <laughs> But yeah, that's the first bit of channel admin about the um, whole um, stream issue over with. Now for the next piece of admin. The fact that I have mainly been sticking to live streams and been doing less updates in terms of videos. That is because I am... Planning to go through the entire um, videos for Atlantic Fleet before then uploading them to YouTube because then it would mean that I have constant uploads for if I'm unable to stream, which is coming frighteningly close to that because. The only reason I've been able to properly stream a lot now is because I've um I'm on um summer holidays off school. Okay, now just update the version of True Gelo that would be the refit of the class. That was done in that universe in 2019 where more anti-aircraft stuff was added to the rear turret and in actuality I did that because on the original design um, the 14 inch gun at the rear here which you saw in the original design had um, caused the ship to be sit too low in the water. The weight was making the ship sit too low in the water. I just need to fix these um, phalanxes around. Yeah. Five inch guns are still the way they were. Excuse me. Hang on a sec. New part. If I can find those 
five inches again I can hit. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add in some more oh, some more dual purpose guns in terms of these um, Japanese dual purpose guns and as well as also another one the five inch set that I had had originally on this thing so another one the five inch sets which um, rotate like that and move that down to level with the other turret okay that these forward boats here would hinder with its rotation so uh, it's not like that it's more unlikely that the lifeboats are going to get destroyed in combat anyway so I will get rid of those lifeboats there. And I need to adjust the camera a bit. Because I need to then move this more forward. A bit more to the right. And there, that would do for Robert Chigilo's, um secondary batteries. Well, no, actually, because I forgot to sort these turrets out. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot indeed. So... For this more secondary batteries, I'm going to be getting rid of the um, triple A's at the front here. Well, two of them, the third is being kept because I'll have to get rid of the Tillman gun at the bow end. The thing I really love about the Hetfield is their Tillman guns. Well. Out of the seven, six of them will have Tillman guns. The seventh, the seventh, which was the second built, was not was decided not to be equipped with uh, Tillman guns. Which um, that one happens to be the only one that that gets sunk in any sort of combat. Which was an accident in war games done by the. USS New Jersey in that she accidentally fired live rounds and it punctured through the entire armor deck of um, the entire armor of the turret of the bow turret of the Lars Ulrich which is the only one not equipped with Tillman guns <laughs> and also the fastest ship of the class and then the ship exploded and sank, taking out of the 1,400 aboard 800 of them. But considering it was a turret explosion for such a large turret and such a lot of ammunition and everything, yeah, casualties were less. Well, no, not as large as this, basically. Basically only just a free turreted version of this, but still a large turret and, ex and an explosion and everything, but... And there we go, I've increased our gun capabilities by a bit, and um... 
at the same time, giving the ship more anti-aircraft capabilities. So, just take away the railings there so then those guns could actually do a bit better chance at fighting and then that. And then I'm going to test it to see how much of the max speed that this thing had in the original I got rid of with adding the stuff on to it. Because this thing in normal conditions I think went about 32.5 knots at maximum but would hover around 32.2. Okay, so full speed ahead because we will be having AA here. AA stats are all. I'm going to turn my audio back up a bit. Apply. AA status is all guns that can do AA are on AA and that's just a scout plane so we won't need to worry we could easily shoot that down and they won't report our position to the enemy okay the five inches are opening up curses <laughs> okay I've just realized something the stern five inch gun at, like the very stern 5 inch gun is blocked by uh, more triple A. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move those triple A guns because I've already gotten rid of um, quite a lot of. Um, triple A guns just so then I can get the dual purpose on there so this one is being moved and so and what I'm having done is that the forward Tillman will also have a set two set of um, anti-aircraft guns on it one on each side for um, so then I could actually keep the anti-air capability that we already have while also at the same time making it so that the oh bother I've just realized something now I've solved the problem for one triple A gun but now I've made another for another because um This dual purpose gun will have its rotation blocked. Damn it. Being a battleship being a battle cruiser designer is at times annoying. And I'm getting rid of those singles and instead I'm going to those ones and instead I'm gonna just adding a bunch of smaller ones to help fill out the Roll. Oh, I for I forgot to add in a mod that I was supposed to add in. It would have added a lot more weapons to this thing, but to the game right now. But oh well.
seeing as this isn't the, really the control bridge, the control bridge is this bridge here. I can place a AAA system there. Hidden within the radar masts is another AAA system, which, because this is the 2019 refit version of the ship, I'm going to say that by this point, almost all anti-air anti guns have been at least re-equipped to um, work for the most part for the most part without any um, <coughs> operators. For the dual purpose turrets, most of them are still operated by man, but there aren't as many. I could have actually have done more additional phalanx weapons, but Nah. Nah, this thing needs more World War II looking weapons anyway, because this is a sort of a World War II looking ship. But like I said, it earlier, or might have mentioned earlier, this is all just done like a alternate reality and everything, and... I did it all like that as a bit of like an interesting background story for the Steam Workshops of the ships. But now we've actually but done some modifications to this thing, I actually want to see how this thing does in combat. Look, I've tested the head... I've I haven't actually tested any of the ships on camera, that's all, and I actually need to make um, separate videos for the ships, well, don't need to, but want to make separate videos on each separate ship once they're done and put them on as videos the, that, dis that describe what the ships are like for Steam and everything. But yeah, two of the ships are already up on the Steam Workshop and I can and I'm actually going to plan to leave them out as um, something that anyone can go and alter. Uh, where there's the overpriced Deutschland aka the Scharnhorst class. In this game the AI ships that aren't built by players, their looks are horrible, but their guns and everything are, for the most part, accurate to what um, to what the real life ships had. Or as accurate as it is with the weapons that the uh, game have. Guns are reloading. Okay, we have been hit. Shuchila has been hit. Still doing okay though. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna begin a small turn. AA guns destroyed times two. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to do that, overpriced Deutschland. Although it's proven, well, somewhat proven, 
that you assist that your class can hold up single-handedly against HMS Hood or something like that for a while. Although technically it was the weak AI system in the game, not the advanced gunnery, but there we go, we're starting to get our hits in. Okay. Torpedoes. Los. I should have been using armor piercing shells this entire time. Four turrets are destroyed, but none of them are my main turrets. And it's destroyed. L literally, the only thing I really hate about the um, design is that, which is also a thing with the game, these um rotate separately from the main guns and everything, so really it looks weird whenever the main guns are um rotated with the turrets on top. But that's just something I'll deal with. Okay, so now that the Robert Shugilo fully done, I think I might actually um go with one of my um or start working a different vessel or something. Doc. Pet fields are already out. Oh! I might as well introduce to you something that I did. Introducing to you all the HFS Tester, which is going to be renamed because what I was trying to test has been found to work, and so this thing is going to be redesignated from HFS Tester to a different name, which. I really need to come up with. But first things first, I'm changing that single five inch gun there to um, something that would possibly be more help in a um, gunfight for the forward part of the ship. No, I can't fit French quadruple in there. Uh, quadruple, I mean, not quadruple. Hang on, can I? Uh, Select under settings. Reduce the elevator size to as small as the elevator size can go. Move this down into place and up again. Up again, because I need to um, get rid of all these phalanxes. And then move this again 
down to there. A tad bit off to the right. And there we go. I have improved the pop up. Improved the pop off class by quite a considerable bit. Oh, I'll need to get rid of the railings. Only move that upwards, not sidewards. This is only intended as a forward firing gun. I have the five inches on the stern for um, non-forward firing. Switch to phalanx systems. No, I'm not actually going to add in more phalanx systems. I'm going to adding some s smaller secondary guns to the front because um, uh, Somewhere here that I, uh, I was just thinking because the original had it. There's um somewhere here some older looking um uh, something like this is what I'll use as the secondary as the secondary to the bow. Delete more of the railings there and I'm an idiot and forgot to do both sides. Oh well, I can solve my idiot mistake. At least in part, I can. But then I'll need to move this. This is still under the name of Tester for right now because I'm still testing it. <laughs> I just hope the quadruple 14, uh, whatever the caliber of the guns is, will not sink her. Sink her under her own weight. We're, I'm lucky that I was able to get it small. I'm lucky that it actually fits in place there. So. I need to move. I need to move it off to the right a bit off to the right a bit and I need to get rid of that flagpole as it is not needed <laughs> so get rid of the flagpole which means also getting rid of the flag and the ropes that lead down to it. Okay. 
There we go. Select tool, move tool. Move it slightly back. And do I need to move it to the right a bit? Please tell me someone's in chat and they could help me here. Hello, one person in chat. I need your help with something. Look, that's watching this and could you please write in chat if I need to move this gun off to the right a bit more, the main gun here, or if I should just keep it the way it is. I need your help with that. There's, um... I honestly do not know what the hell to do with the gun. So if you can add into the chat about it, that would be very highly appreciated. Uh... Oh, and they're left. Damn! <laughs> I was hoping for assistance with helping with assistance on this thing. No, I want to move the phalanx back to here. That down there. And more forward. There we go. Save this as the tester again. And then test the tester. Okay, turret rotation is what I planned it to be of forward only. The secondary turrets... ...are what I also plan to be in terms of their movement. These forward ones obviously won't... These, I mean rear ones obviously we can't go forward and the quadruple obviously the quadruple I mean not quadruple had you explain the quadruple torpedoes cannot go to the stern to and this still can get 20 knots at least Twenty one knots. And this thing actually works. My god, I made something that works! Well, I also all made something that works that's more of an original design, the Hetfields, but I've made something that's actu that actually works. That was off an original warship design from real life. Okay, back to the dock now. Because this thing is no longer a test vessel. It is now a full-on vessel that's A-OK. -okay. It needs a proper name other than tester. Hmm. Because no one's on chat, I can't have them give me a good name recommendation. Anything on Discord that could... Possibly give me a, um...
you know what? I'm going to name this ship after um, Napoleon's after Napoleon's Discord username. So um, E M E N. Uh, after that N, it's A I E N. S there we go. I've now named this ship after one of my um, one of the people that has been featured on the channel. Oh, the horn of the ship. <laughs> nah, that's a Hetfield class horn. Yet yeah, that's going to be the horn of this vessel. Paint as well. I'm going to actually paint the um, upper hull pieces here in the in this dark blue colour because I like the dark blue colour and. I haven't been able to paint any of my ships in it, so... No, 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 not the turret, not the turret. The doors are going to say, um... Not the stupid turrets! The doors are going to stay as their usual grey colour, because then, easier for the crew. Uh, it's the grey colour with that. Okay, there we go. Well. I literally only just named this after Napoleon or Naval, whichever, whichever way you want to call him as, because he started off on the channel as Napoleon, but then he allowed his original name, to, his normal name, to be called on the on uh, the channel. His actual name to be called on the channel. So yeah, Napoleon or Naval, whichever one. But I'm I'm naming it after his Discord username because that's all. Awesome. That's um. What I want to choose it to name it after. Oh. <laughs> the flag. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Save that again. Confirm. Okay, so. Now we have the tester in place. Well, no. Uh, I can't say the proper name of the ship, but it's no longer under tester. That's for certain. Oh. Source. Okay. So the weapons mo thing I put into the mod pack isn't work working. Oh well, I'll sort it out after stream. I was just thinking because then I could have done the neck design that someone else had 
the next design that I'm going to ruin with um some better but more gun choices than what's available here. Oh, come on workshop designs. If the game crashes here the stream will end. The game hasn't crashed yet. There's the Nelson but I don't know how good of a quality that is before I want to do editations to it. Uh, cargo ships would be funny if guns were added onto those and they are more like on merchant cruisers. Some ship that I only like because of the guns, not because of the footballer and stuff on it. Uh, U-boat like design. Fletcher, I've already got a custom Fletcher. Cars A. Ah, Sheffield, which in um, my current Royal Navy playthrough, which isn't on uh, camera, of course. I, um, that was the ship that had sunk the Blue Her and then the Admiral Hipper. London, oh, I've already got small adaptation versions of London, but that's only adding phalanx weapons, and I don't want to really do any more adaptations to my favourite to my favourite heavy cruiser design. I don't know how that ended up here, but that might be a good design to work off of. Constellation, Redoubtable, Leningrad, Australia, Intrepid, uh, fictional. Some of these are fictional ships, obviously. The Popov, which I obviously, um, which I obviously got the ship you would, I uh, for some reason, <laughs> hang on a sec. How much detail has this Titanic got? I need to see. I need to see how much detail this Titanic has. And then if it has good enough detail, I'm adding... Okay. Ew. This was done in an earlier rendition of the game, so... I understand the horrible, um... Rendi... <laughs> horrible version of Titanic there. Damn, I was hoping we could get a ti get Titanic with um <laughs> a version of Titanic, but out sticking out the promenades of guns. <laughs> I think I might actually put that request in the Admiral Bofus thing, um sticking out the promenades or um secondary guns and stuff or something. <laughs> Yeah, I'll actually make a request of if tight of them to do a, a what if Titanic was um <laughs> was a armed merchant cruiser. <laughs> that's the gun with the t that's the battleship with the Tillmans. Oh, I think I might actually do um. Yeah, I might actually do a version of it with the Tillmans, because a battleship with Tillmans on, because I love the Tillman guns. I love the six full. I love the six, six turret, sixteen inch gun Tillmans. <laughs> and then this has got this. <laughs> Awesome secondaries, a lot of things in there. Oh boy, I I'm doing upgrades to this thing. I'm <laughs> S 
So, considering it's an alternate reality as well, I'm going to say that Japan actually made this, but this got sold off to the Royal Navy, which is under which is under a different um, pronunciation at the start, because the person who was in charge when the Royal Navy started happened to share a name with myself and so the HFS in the alternate reality. Well, I already have a design I'm working on that's got the name Sevenfold and those des whatever comes off of those designs is going to be named after metal bands. I've already got Metallica with the Hetfield class, um... Hmm... Naming ships is really difficult. I'm thinking... The Poet class battleships or something like that. Yes, the Poet class, so I need to get William Shakespeare's name spelling. Hang on a sec. Could I actually copy and paste it? The name. Copy. Uh, no, that's OBS. The H F S. William Shakespeare. Oh. Select the flag. <laughs> Uh, undo. Okay, so it turns out that the flag is actually an adjustable hull piece. So, get rid of that, select. That's also an adjustable. Okay, so, first thing I need to do is add in a flag. Ah, okay. Ow, 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 pain. I don't know why, but since I've started playing this game and, um... Showing out my designs and everything, I've been going into more and more of, like, my panic attack state, really. Which, um... Isn't really something I like. Oh, yeah, I could actually write the ship names on the side of them. I will be doing that off camera because, like, You don't want to see me spend multiple hours here, um, No! Undo! Select... The flag... And the flag of the UK will fly on this thing. But to keep with the Japanese heritage, I am keeping the IJN symbol on here and... This obviously does look like a Japanese design already. Somewhat of a Japanese design, but with obviously some Western mix. Hmm. 
like the Tillman guns. <laughs> I actually love the attention to detail that the uh like all the effort that's gone into this thing already and I'm going to be adding to it, really. So, I need some sort of a secondary gun that Have that overgo the phalanx systems, and um. Oh, I'm gonna have to re angle these, obviously, but. Okay, for some reason the mirror tool isn't working. So select... Okay, so now I know the mirror tool doesn't proper, properly um, do anything, in terms of the guns that is. I've I think I've already got what I'm doing as a history for this, for these ships. Yeah, I've already got a history for these ships that are um. That is going to be done for the Steam Workshop when I go to um. Get the history of these things over with on it. Hang on a sec. Could there actually be a show grid? Yeah, but it's not really going to do that much help. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to move these, like... Right. By the anchor chains, there are going to be two forward guns there and there.
But yeah, this... I'm already making additions to someone else's design and already renamed it and everything. For this one, because I haven't really done any major, major changes to it, I am going to credit the original person who made this because as of right now, I've done only minor changes with a few additional secondaries and everything. <laughs> Everything like that. I. That's only just like a basic addition design, though, to this thing. It's not like. full on design changes and everything. Okay, why is it zoomed me out so far? Back to dock. Hey, what's this thing's on? There's no horn fire. Gonna be its horn. Save so just wait. No, it's not the version I set. It's not the Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is there. Why does it zoom out so far, though? Like... I think it has something to do with that accidental uh, gun there. Override Shakespeare. As in the name of the ship, not actual Shakespeare himself. I'm not... Like... No. Se seriously, no one sh should ever over override any Shakespeare stuff and edit it and make it claim that it was original or anything like that. <sighs> Still zoomed out quite far though, but... Come on! Back to dock. What is it that's making it zoom out so far?
I don't know why, but the camera wants to be really zoomed out and won't be zoomed in. I just hope I hope that it's a glitch uh, like come on why couldn't the thing that zoomed in Even the telescope view this options. This doesn't do anything about the um There's a part on this or something that is making it so that its standard view is zoomed out quite a considerable amount. I think with this I can actually see where the part range is actually are to uh, we are in no need of aircraft catapults because in the game as well as also the reality aircraft on ships is non-existent which only means that aircraft are useful in ports, but the only reason the Robert Shugilo was made was because of um, the fact that if, well, made the way she was, that is, it's because of the fact that if they do indeed have to go within an area that is in range of air bases, they have anti-aircraft ships. These turrets here are not needed. Like, they're not being used. And 
do. Literally, the torpedoes sticking out the side here that are like that. No. Like, I'm getting rid of the torpedoes, that's for certain, because a battleship, torpedoes, no. Like, There are a few exceptions for battleships that actually have torpedoes, but they're referred to as battle cruisers. Well, except for one, but that one didn't really get to use them at all. I think I'm going to get rid of the entire mast system here because... Like, the ropes at least to them because... In this game it doesn't really matter at all for the ropes but... And the only mast I really need to keep on is this uh, tripod set here because of where the flag is hoisted at. But even then this mask can be reduced down a considerable size. How many more torpedoes are hidden on this thing? Seriously, trying to get this to be a more me-ish battleship and then the original creator's hidden torpedoes literally everywhere on this thing. <sighs> And I have a particular dislike for battleships with torpedoes equipped to them. Alright. Please tell me that. Uh, some of the stuff I got rid of solves the camera problem. Because if it doesn't, then... <laughs> I'm screwed. Hang on. 
a sec. Is there anyone in the Naval Art General chat that can help? It now just seems that the camera's further out than before. But back to Doc. What, well, like, the hell is causing the camera to go out as far as it is? For this design. I think it's because of the sheer size of this thing. That might be it. Just the sheer, sh sheer size of this thing to get all this onto it. I think it's causing it. But, as much as I love the Tillman guns, as much as I love the Tillmans, that many of them is overkill, so. going to be one less Tillman design to this, well, Tillman gun to this thing. I can't get rid of it for the stern because the stern, it'll just cause a lot of um, more problems. So 460 is the highest caliber. Anything higher than 460? What's the highest caliber here right now? Five one zero, but that's twin. I don't want twins. <laughs> I have nothing against twin turrets. It's just that. I much prefer quads, uh, quads or triples. So I think this might actually be the... This is the greatest gun we can get in terms of... Um, thingies, but... Hang on, is there? I think with this weapon pack there are VLSs added. Plus, I think, among those lines of VLS. VLS system to there, as well as also... Harpoon launches over those. And... Oh, this thing is going to be equipped with quite a few missiles from the looks of it. Two. Eight for each section. One, two, three. Four, five, six, uh, undo the addition of that one, one, 
then yet the set goes lower. I can always bring that one back there, lower. I think that's enough for the VLS systems and for the missiles. For the harpoon missiles. Let's go there. And there. And then move and lower the height of this to be at the same height as their companions on that row. Okay. Triple A guns in the bow and everything. Yep, yep. Save that as the shakes there. Whereas for battleships, I'm against torpedoes on them. I'm not against missiles on them. <laughs> missiles or modern weaponry on them because. <laughs> missiles and modern weaponry would. If they were equipped on battle, like modern weapon and stuff, if they were equipped on battleships, and they were better with, and they had obviously good defense um, capabilities, with um, the other weaponry, which which they probably will have if. What I'm theoretically saying would ever come true. They could actually keep, um, they could actually remake battleships and, um, have them use this actual designs for modern day warfare. I need something to reduce the size of this thing. Turret at the stern here is going. The crane was just part of the aircraft system, so. Is. Re what I have done here is I've reduced the displacement of this thing by a considerable amount already and no undo that yeah I just want to make sure I didn't undo anything I wasn't supposed to undo and theoretically we could add another turret there but this thing's already overpowered with turrets. I'm gonna get rid of these uh, three sets here. Thing. OK, 
Okay, so, and with this thing here, I'm going to delete that upper AA gun stuff and uh, move this to the top of that. Literally, what I'm trying to make the this battleship while also in a way so that I can actually properly see it at close, that the camera's at a proper distance. That's good. Is also make it so that it could, they could be used as a um, battleship running mates for the Hetfields. For the Hetfields. Uh, I'm moving the flag mast. I'm moving the flag mast to a to the rangefinder area. And move the flag. Over to there and Why can't I get it? Uh, now I'm gonna have to just place it and then move it to where I want it to be. Rotate that at a slight Okay, that's the new flag mast for the Shakespeare in place. Damn, this design's been more of a pain than it is a gain right now. This thing's gonna have a flat stern like the um at fields oh yeah and get rid of those anti aircraft guns there
scan because I want to see if there are any other editations I want to do in terms of aesthetics wise looks wise what guns are these These guns here are being moved out to be directly upon the stern of the ship. Only one of them's going out on the stern of the ship, the other is being scraps from the design and save that more onto the Shakespeare I said I was originally going to keep the IGN thing, but I'm not, and thing is, I want to change the bow a bit with the, um, no, I'm getting rid of the upper, like, railing things though, but I'll keep the shape like that. Because I'm absolutely used to doing a bow that would be a keep the shape somewhat okay. I'm guessing the camera is still going to be way off and everything. But I'm under the belief it's the size of this thing that's causing the entire camera thing. Seriously, got to be kidding me. You know, I need to. Uh, I have made a horrible plan with doing the poet class, like, um, based off that design there. I'm going to grab a new design. Rework everything with the poet class battleships. It's going to be a battleship design indeed, but I need to rework it 100%. I just need to quickly do something behind camera. Right, back again. I'm just now going through all the designs I have that are actually battleships and uh, that's not a battleship, that's cargo ships, not a battleship. Not a battleship. A battle cruiser, but nah. 
I don't want to go through having to repaint everything on it. I'm not doing cruisers, obviously. I'm doing battleships, so should really pass the cruisers. Prince Eugen. Yeah. It's a great ship and my favourite, but not being used right now. Uh, someone's custom battleship design, battle cruiser, battle cruiser. I'm not doing a battle cruiser because I've already got the uh I've already got the Hatfields as the battle cruisers. That's a pocket battleship. War Spy, the thing is, I can't upgrade the guns on that because it. That thing we obviously know it can't properly work with my design plans. That looks to be a pre dreadnought. Ever given! <laughs> For some reason it's there. Puerto Rico, no, that's a het that's more like a battle cruiser, Alaska class. Lion Really all my ship designs start with um me having one ship to redesign. Do redesigns too and add stuff onto and everything. New Jersey, Columbia. This thing looks good. What are the guns on her though? Like Will I be able to recognise the guns from here? They're British guns, that's they're triple, so uh They're 406 triples <laughs> that are on her right now. Because <laughs> usual British battleships designs like that I know and love the like for the example the um Queen Elizabeth class has um, doubles. I'm gonna go replace these guns with the double five ten guns over the four oh sixes. so Select, move that to the right a bit. That's along the actual center line of the sh uh, um. What the? F If 
first off only worry about center line. That's really as close to the center line as I'll get. Select. Not exactly on center line, but could be worse. And then I could actually... No, I can't move this turret down further, so... i got to keep that turret's elevator... ...within, um... Okay, enough height for it to be still used. So this is upping the guns by quite a considerable amount in terms of caliber. But it's going to be at the cost of one turret lost and it's going to be at the cost of a turret loss and obviously less number of guns because they're doubles, not triples. But it's the only way we can really get doubles here. Now this is going to be the William Shakespeare and the much bit more of a better British design. But I need to actually make it more my own because if I just take this and put it up on the workshop, they're going to say, Oh, you copied the insert original design, but only just changed the guns to it. Alright, I need a good secondary gun design. 5 inch guns, but British 5 inch, so well, literally. This design here is literally just the original, is mixes of my own and the original design that was on this thing. No!
Oh, shoot. Now, because of me thinking I did something wrong and trying to solve that something wrong, I've completely made this design horribly bad. Yeah, I think this is a much better design for the Shakespeare than what I had. Yeah, I obviously need to re-adding the 5-inch guns. That are here and here, at least. Uh, lifeboats are going to be destroyed in combat anyway, so... But I need to get those 406 guns back, uh, no, uh, 406, uh, 506 I think they are, uh, no, 510 guns back. Excuse me. Oh, bother. Hi. Oh. We have a... No, undo that. But okay, the slight problem has been resolved peacefully. Oh no. Uh, save that. This is a usual glitch that happens when sometimes I can't select stuff, which means that. To solve the glitch, I have to go into test, and then get out of it again. By going back to dock, obviously. How much longer am I going to do the stream? Okay. Now we're back here, and uh, Shakespeare, where's the Shakespeare? 
there's the Shakespeare. We can carry on with making the poet class. I can actually get it. Can I will get these guns over this platform here actually and uh Yeah, that actually works. And the guns go above the triple A there, so won't have a problem with triple A. This thing's elevator needs to go to the smallest size possible. No, not this! I thought I'd selected the other turret! Damn it. This is the one that needs to go down and then have its elevated cut and then at the stern here stern here the Shakespeare has got Another two of these uh, 15 inch guns. This is the one with the 8.25 bit there, and slightly back. And then move this back. Elevator as small as it can possibly go. <laughs> and then the gun at the very rear. Should I keep it as and make all oh. I can fit another one on that's the thing and lower the elevator to the smallest size go down like that aft like that no more forward I mean like that not aft, aft would be going backwards that and then oh bother a uh, move first that up delete these two move that back down Let's test to see how the Shakespeare works now, and if it works good, then I have a battleship for my fleet. I've already got the battle cruiser down, well, uh, entire class down. Then I got the poet class battleships, which 
we'll obviously start here with uh, Shakespeare. Back to Doc! Back to Doc! <laughs> I need to get rid of one of the guns. Yes. Need to get rid of one of the guns. Save under the William Shakespeare. Test that again. How long will we be streaming now for? Uh... going on now for but well, I have to I have to stop the stream now viewers but yeah I'm gonna have to change the guns though in the Shakespeare because we're si <laughs> we're sinking with these guns like we're too low in the water but yeah hope you enjoyed the stream I hope to see you again in another